Hi, my name is Margaret Posch. In this video, we are going to practice four loops. But before I switch to Che Grasp, I want to point out a pattern we are going to use. It works for four loops that execute a code segment which is independent of the control variable n times. In other words, it can be used for any situation where you have to repeat a piece of code and the control variable is only used to make sure you repeat the right amount of times. So here is the pattern. Of course, we start with the keyword for. We initialize our control variable i with zero. We keep repeating as long as i is less than n. And we increment i by one. i gets initialized with zero, i less than n, i plus plus. Now we are ready to move to check grasp. So let's start writing a for loop that prints the numbers one to five four times. And it's going to print them next to each other separated by a couple of spaces. I'm going to start with the keyword for. I'm going to initialize my control variable with zero. I'm going to continue to execute as long as my control variable is less than n. n in my case is four because I want to print those numbers four times. And I'm going to increment by using my increment operator. And in the body of my for loop, I'm going to use a print statement. I'm going to print one, two, three, four, five, couple spaces. And now I'm going to compile and run. And here I can see in my output, I have four times the numbers one to five separated by a couple of spaces. Before I continue, I'm going to make sure there's a single empty line so the output is going to be easier to read. In my next example, I'm going to print a triangle of x's and I'm going to print it twice. We're going to use the same pattern. We're going to start with the keyword for. I'm going to initialize my control variable with zero. I'm going to continue as long as my control variable is less than n. n in this case is two because we want to print the triangle twice. And now I'm going to increase my control variable by incrementing it. And in the body of my for loop, I'm going to print the triangle of x's. Now I'm going to use three statements to print such a triangle. So you can see here was a typo, let's fix that system out print line. I'm going to have small triangles of x's and I'm going to use a for loop to print such a triangle twice. It's going to be printed one on top of the other. I'm going to compile. There was another typo which escaped me. It's print line. Let's compile that again. There we go. I'm going to increase the size of my output window and I'm going to run my code. And here I can see I have two triangles of axis, one on top of the other. The next example is an example I would like you to try for yourself first. I would like you to use a for loop to print I like Java. I would like each sentence in a separate line and I would like it to be printed three times. So take a paper, 
pause the video and write a for loop that prints I like Java three times each sentence in a separate line. Now before I show the solution I'm going to use a print statement again to add an empty line between my outputs. And here is my third uh, for loop. Uh, once again I'm going to start with the keyword for. I'm going to initialize my i with zero. I'm going to continue as long as my control variable i is less than three because I want to print I like Java three times and I'm going to increment my I. And in the body of my for statement I have a print statement it's going to print I like Java. I'm going to compile. I'm going to increase the size of my output window and I'm going to run my code and here I can see three times I like Java.